All right, vibe check, vibe check, one, two, one, two. What's up, everybody? It's Jeremy here. I'm ocean bound and I'm heading to Pleasure Bay again, but that's okay. We're in the middle of the summer and that kind of means that there's basically not a lot of winds and it's been pretty flat. That's just like what it is around here in New England in the summertime, so it is what it is. There may be no waves, but Pleasure Bay is down the street from my house and I try to make the most and be as productive as possible with the flat water. So this week, I'm super interested in comparing the 1675 and the 1350 as far as winging goes. I don't have a ton of time today. I've got to watch my kids in a little bit and so I'm gonna to try to see what I can do in the next like two or three hours. Now, in comparing these two, I'm pretty sure that the 1350 is going to come up on top in pretty much all categories. Obviously, a lot's going to depend on what you're doing. All right, where was I? I'm keen to see if the 1350 is truly faster. I want to see if it turns better. You know, and maybe if I have enough time, I'm going to get out there and throw the 1180 on the mix. I did recently ride that in the last couple of weeks and some six foot waves and was pleasantly surprised how fast I could get that thing going. I got it going to 22.9 miles an hour, ripping down a wave face and many other waves I was topping out over 21 miles an hour. So that foil is pretty awesome. So because speed is something I'm definitely going to focus on today I'm gonna to be using the 140 dart tail it's the smallest tail that I have that should liven things up and give things the least amount of drag so you know what I'm feeling will mostly be probably the characteristics of the front foils these days I really dislike light wind winging and I'm thankful to have flat water paddle ups and pumping practice right down the street from my house is something that I can do when it's light and it's something I've really been focusing hard on lately but sometimes you get those random wave days when it's just really light and you just want to wing it so these APFs are they fast enough to stay on these like you know little ground swell waves you know they're certainly big enough to catch them so let's see what we can get these things up to today it's worth mentioning that I can always get going faster going down a wave face than I can on flat water so this is just gonna be one facet of everything maybe it'll help you choose what foils right for you maybe it won't more thoughts on the end let's hit it here we go okay so this is what we got. It's on the light side. I came totally prepared. I'm gonna use a seven meter Ventus. God, I haven't used that seven meter Ventus in a long time. I wanna, it's going on like nine months. And so, um, I just wanna get the max power. Max speed, max power with these wings. So, cool. All right, 140 stab, 1675. I figure I'd start low and slow. See how fast we can get this thing. I hate winging into 1675. I think we have enough. I think 14 to 16. It's just, will I be able to get up to speed? That's the question. Man, I can't believe my adventures. I've been on this thing forever.
50, 1st off, it was a gorgeous day and the water just felt like warmer than it's felt a long time in Pleasure Bay. It was like a foil fest out there. It's always fun to be the first person out there. I took the 7 meter Ventus out and I started with the 1675. As far as speed goes, let me just get into that. So. I did the 1675, then the 1350, then the 1180. I would say by the time I hit the 1180, the wind had picked up a couple miles an hour more. And so I decided to go back and then I redid the 1675 and the 1350. So the first time with the 1675, the, the highest I got, I maxed out at like 16.8 miles per hour. And then the first round of the 1350, my highest speeds were like 18.5, 18.3, 18, 18. So it was like, it, it was definitely more than a mile an hour faster. The 1180, I maxed out at 20, 20.5, 20 22.6, 19.8 so that was red and that was right around where i kind of thought it would land now i took the 1180 out kind of recently on like a six foot wave day that it was super light wind and i was ripping down those wave faces the fastest speed i got that day was 22.9 miles an hour but i was consistently getting over 21 and 22 miles an hour. So I knew that that thing could go fast, but I usually can't go that fast on the flat. And so, you know, getting up to 22.6, that's a, that's about what I kind of figured. I, I figured I could get around 22 and then some. So now when I did the second round with the 1675, when I had some more wins, I maxed out that my top three were 17.8, 18.8, and 18.7. And I went back out in the 1350 and I maxed Maxed out at 19.6, 19.7, 18.3. So again, I was still getting about a mile an hour more with the 1350. It's actually surprised me that I was able to get like high 18s, almost 19 with the 1675. But what I thought was like a big difference was the 1675 with the 140 tail felt really pitchy and squirrely. I had to ride my back foot a little farther back just so I could have more leverage when I was going really fast. Whereas the 1350, I didn't get that. The 1350 felt great at those higher speeds. And then with the 1180, I really never felt overpowered at all. That's just such a great foil. When it comes to low end lift, 1675 all the way. 1350 is just noticeable, it still gets up. And the 1180, I had to work a little bit, but then when the wind came up, it was never an issue. Turning, the 1180, obviously, great. The 
1350, totally fine. 1675, I've said it before, I'm gonna say it again, it was a pig to turn. It's so awkward to turn because the input that my feet give that foil and what I get out of it, the reaction I get out of it is like just not normal. I just feel like it's big and it's awkward. And yeah, like if I'm going around and doing like a really gradual jibe, I can pump my way through the jibe. That's kind of like the easiest way for me to consistently get up is to have like a rhythm as I'm coming around in the jibe. And a lot of times I'm messing it up too. But the 1350 felt normal and I didn't have a problem doing a jibe with that. And the 1180 totally felt normal. So I would definitely say that the 1675 is kind of in its own class. I just can't even imagine winging on the 1880 because that thing just must be like totally crazy to turn. The other thing, I mean like the, the 1675, it felt fine to pump. The low end stall speed on that was insane, but so was the 1350. And also when it comes to the low end lift, that 1675 just gets you up immediately but i have to have a lot of front foot pressure a lot more front foot pressure with the 1675 when i get it up and then once it levels out i almost have to like dial it back and stand back so it just takes a little more effort for you to control it and not have it come up some quick and buck you off whereas the 1350 is just a little bit more manageable and the 1180 isn't an issue the 1350 i was doing upwind tacks it felt normal i tried them on the 1675 it was definitely awkward 1180 totally cool so really what did i learn today or what can I take away from this? I can 100% say that this is the, my last session with the 1675. I'm gonna get rid of it. It doesn't suit me anymore. I've gotten to the point where paddling up the 1350 is not an issue. Yes, it takes maybe an extra stroke or two, but I don't need that 1675. I still recommend it for anyone who's trying to get into paddling and wants to like get something that gets up quick. I would totally recommend it maybe for a bigger dude who needs something that would get them up on light wind, but I do think it just turns weird. I think it's a little awkward when it comes Comes to turning whereas the 1350 just felt a little bit more normal it feels like a regular foil to me basically goodbye 1675 and I'm just stoked that I've done this test and I figured it out because the 1350 is here to stay at least for now and the 1180 I mean, the 1180 is great and I want to be on that as much as possible. So there you go. I know this is worth it to me. I don't know if this is going to help you decide, let's say, which foil you're going to get. I'm 77 kilograms or just under like 170 pounds. So I think the 1675 is a great place to start with paddling. If you're winging with it, I'm going to say that the 1350 is definitely the way to go. And honestly, like you can pretty much get up and almost the same with the 1180 and the 1180 is just more fun across the board. And one other side note that I think is kind of awesome, that Ventus, I haven't ridden that Ventus in about, I want to say nine months. It's been a long time and I love that Ventus. I love the one handed riding that you can get. and. It was a total first and I did it a bunch of times today. I was able to one-handed pump up that Ventus and the 1350 up on foil. It blows my mind that you can do that. Yeah, fine. It's a party trick. That's freaking cool. I love that. So, what an awesome day. I learned a lot and I'm officially saying goodbye to the 1675 and that's cool with me. Thanks for watching everyone. If you want to see some more of my videos and you haven't done so already, please consider clicking that subscribe button. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think about these foils or if you have any questions. And with that, I hope all of you are doing well out there. I'll see you soon on the flip and I wish you all an awesome day. Later.